Well, here we are with yet another secret of success, successful people. And I want to ask this question again. What is it that makes people who are successful, successful? After all, as you and I know, if we look at any population, the smallest percentage of people are the successful people and the largest percentage, unfortunately, are the unsuccessful people. And I was always fascinated why it was that some people were successful. And was it some Da Vinci-like code they'd uncovered at the start of their lives? Or did they have a mentor, a particular mentor, who helped them along the way? Or were they particularly learned? Or maybe they were well-connected. Or maybe just that they were wealthy before they even started on the journey. I did hear once somebody say that if your dad left you $100 million and a property empire, then there was a reasonable chance that you could be successful, but more of that on a different day. So again, let's pose this question, why are people successful? Because you would think, based on the way it works, that it's a hidden secret, but in fact it isn't. I use a five-step process, which I'm going to share with you now, about how people become more successful. And my journey for being successful came down to this one idea, and the idea was planning. And I realized, and I've interviewed 174 successful people, by the way, over the last 30 odd years, that the successful people spend time planning. And I say this was brought to me in the early days when I was 21, when I was working for an American company called Diversity, selling cleaning chemicals and a posh mop and bucket. It wasn't called a posh mop and bucket, that had a better name than that. Uh, but nevertheless, that's what it was. It was a great system, by the way, and they were a fantastic company. I learned a lot from them. And my sales manager at the time, Lou Franks, who lived in Coventry, would phone me up at seven o'clock in the morning and say, oh, Peter, I've got good news for you. I said, oh, what's that, Lou, knowing what it was? He said, I'm coming out with you today. No doubt you've got your journey planned and you're ready and you know where you're going and everything. And of course, I went, um, pulling on my nose. Yes, of course, Lou, I have. Anyway, he'd arranged to meet me for breakfast within probably half an hour because he lived fairly close to me. And off I would go to meet him. We would have a cracking day. And when we'd been in the various courts, he would come in and help me. We'd go and sit in a lay-by somewhere, and he used to record the calls, and we'd play them back, and he'd teach me where I went right, where I went wrong, and he asked me some great personal development questions as well. And one day he said to me, Peter, do you have written goals? And I said, uh, no, Lou, I don't. And he said, well, here's an expression to remember for the rest of your life, and I have. If you don't know where you're going, all the roads lead there. And that was really my start of planning my journey in life. And so this is the system that I use for planning almost everything in my life. And it's very simple to use. It's five simple questions. And when you answer these questions, you'll probably prompt more questions for yourself, which you can then go on to answer. But it's a great starting point. And here they are. In order to do our planning exercise, we need to know, firstly, why do we want to achieve whatever it is we're setting out to achieve? What's the why that's driving this? Secondly, what precisely is it that we want? Thirdly, how on earth are we going to get it? Fourthly, what actions are we going to take? And fifth, how are we going to measure the result of the actions? So it's as simple as that. Why do I want it? What do I want? How am I going to get it? What action am I going to take? And importantly, how will I measure? Now, I've found that this really is the key to everything that I do. I'm planning at the moment the launch of a particular new system, product, service that I'm working on. I'll tell you more about it on another day. And I know, and the team and I have been planning this for quite a time, that we have to keep on planning. Because I find if I don't plan effectively, then I miss things out. So I've got to be careful, though, that the planning doesn't get endless. And so I was reminded of the Reid Hoffman, he was the founder of LinkedIn, quote that said, if you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product or service, you're probably launched too late. And isn't that true? So I do believe in action is the key and success loves speed and all those great expressions. So I would urge you to take this idea away and use those five simple questions. Why do I want it? What is it I want? How am I going to get it? What actions am I going to take? And how am I going to measure it? And I'm certain that this will help you in all your planning stages, particularly with the answers that you get to those first five questions. If you've liked this video, there's plenty more of them and I look forward to seeing you on those. For the meantime, I wish you every success in all your adventures in life. From me, Peter Thompson, goodbye for now.